Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today we will be talking about The Autopsy of Jane Doe. It is a 2016 film directed by Andre Overdahl. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Our movie does open with a father and son running their own coroner business or mortuary, something of the nature. I always thought that coroners had to be elected, but maybe that's just where I live. The police do bring an unidentified woman in and are very vehement that they need to determine cause of death ASAP just based on the circumstances in which she was found. It looks like she was found in a house, kind of still buried in the basement. There's a bunch of bodies around which it seems that the police have already identified and they seem to think that they were trying to escape when they were dispatched rather than trying to break in and they're unsure how long the body's been there of the woman, why she's there, how she got there, and who she is. Things seem to get stranger and stranger as things seem to progress with the autopsy. Certain songs keep playing on the radio, certain strange things are happening all around the location. And you do get a feeling that if there is a worst case scenario, it's always going to happen to this poor father and son. So what did I like about this movie? The effects are so good. Actually going into this body, you know, taking the steps that you would for an autopsy to determine cause of death, you're going to have to go through each body system very in depth. And I felt like it, it did seem really real. I do have a video, morbid as it sounds, I'm a huge fan of the guy, the anatomist who did uh, Body Worlds, and he did put out a video of a real autopsy in real time, and it was really reminiscent about that, just how, you know, someone really did their homework to make this seem as real as possible. Also, the subplot between the father and the son and some of the stuff in their past, particularly with the mother, that they allude to a lot. There's always this theme of guilt between the father and the mother, and then subsequently the father and the son. The son not really wanting to follow dad in his footsteps with the family business, and him kind of confiding in his girlfriend, you know, I haven't told him yet, and she's kind of pushing him like, hey, you got to cut the cord now. You got to let them know how you feel. So I, I did like that. I also did really like the originality of the story. I, I don't feel as though, not to spoil anything, this particular premise has really been touched on and that was really neat. So my dislike, my number one dislike with this movie, I don't like animal cruelty, especially if it's cats, especially if it's a cat that looks like my cat because she is my queen and I love her. And I had a feeling something was coming and when it did come, I did cover my eyes and my ears cause I'm a big wuss puss and I couldn't bear to hear any tiny little sound that this poor creature was making and then kind of forced the groom of reanimator to let me know when it was over. So poor man had to watch it while I kind of sat there like trying to avoid the whole thing. Aside from that, I really liked this movie. I with the cat part would give it a 3.5 out of 5, but I really would give it like a 4 or 4.5 out of 5. It was genuinely creepy. I did really like that there are a lot of twists and turns in it, a lot of curveballs in it. However, when you're such amazing detectives as me and the groom are, and you do watch a lot of supernatural and a lot of horror movies, you start to pick up on certain themes and we did guess the twist. But it didn't ruin it for us. It was still a really, really good time and I definitely recommend it. I found this movie on Amazon. I got the duo pack with the Blu-ray and the DVD for ever because this is from 2016. It is now 2018. I've been trying to find this movie in any streaming service. I feel like maybe at one point it was on Amazon video, but no longer. So if you do want to watch this, you're going to have to get a physical copy unless you can somehow pirate it off the internet. I don't do that, but let me know what you thought of the movie down below. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. 
hit the bell for more notifications of all my content. You can find me on Twitter at RayAnimator and my Facebook page, RayAnimator Reviews. And thank you for joining me, and I hope you check this out and just, you know, if you're sensitive to any little critters getting hurt, maybe watch it with someone that can let you know when that part's over. But enjoy the movie.